I'm trapped on the nether roof, and I'm not alone up here. There's something following me, watching me from a distance, stalking me like a predator prowling for its prey. I pray I still have time to escape, but every time I look back, it seems to get closer and closer. I've tried running from it, yet it still somehow stays near, ever slowly encroaching upon me. I need to find a way out of here. I need to escape the nether roof, and my time is running out. Before we get into the video, make sure you like the video and check if you are subscribed. It would help out the channel a lot. Now let's get into the video. How did I get here? I was brought to the nether roof by Sloime, who asked for my help on a redstone project. Yet he has seemingly disappeared and left me all alone. All alone with a monster. Was it a simple mistake? Or was I purposefully abandoned? But the answer to that will have to wait. Right now, what matters is escaping before the roof stalker gets me. I'm not sure what would actually happen if it caught me, but I'm not going to wait to find out. From my experience on this SMP so far, it doesn't seem like the entities are the friendliest. I don't have any flint steel, not on me nor anywhere in my ender chest. I've already searched through every single shulker box. There's nothing I can use to light the portal back up. I could try to build a platform to spawn gas to try and relight the portal, but that would be way too time consuming and difficult. And I don't have time. Since I can't relight the portal or build a new one, it seems like I have to resort to an alternative method. I need to break the bedrock beneath me. Now breaking bedrock is not the easiest task, especially when there's a monster looking over your shoulder waiting for you to make a wrong move. I have to make a redstone bedrock breaker, which requires some pistons, obsidian, TNT, a lever, and a whole lot of luck. Luckily, because Sloime had asked me for help on a redstone project, I brought my shulker box full of redstone supplies, so I had most of what I needed. And because the portal was essentially useless to me now, I could harvest the obsidian from it. But the TNT was a problem. I only had six pieces, which means I only had three attempts. And there's a lot that can go wrong trying to break bedrock. It takes very specific instructions to do it, and messing up any of them may ruin everything. And worse yet, I need to get lucky enough to pick a bedrock layer only one block deep. Otherwise, it would be too hard to break two layers. And through all of this, the Roof Stalker is still getting closer. I'm running out of time. I need to act now. This is it. My final pieces and my final attempt. If I don't get lucky here, I'll be stuck here forever. I need to get lucky or the roof stalker will get me.
I finally escaped. I got lucky. If I hadn't been so lucky, that monster above would have gotten to me. Now I have a new objective. Confront the man who left me for dead. I need answers, and I'm going to get them. Slay me? Oh. What happened? Where'd you go? Alfred. Oh, he got out. Um, okay. I know this might be... This whole situation might be confusing, right? Uh, but on this server, you actually have enemies. And are you saying you're one of those slow men? I am the enemy of no one. Um, I'm just doing my job. And your job is to leave me up there on the nether roof to die? You left me for Believe dead. Not, it was. Don't make my job more difficult. Calm down. Listen to me. Listen to me for a second. Why should I listen to you? You literally left me to die up there. You left me for dead. I was hired to get rid of you, but not to kill you. But you see, I have strength potions, a lot of gapples, a full set of military armor, and the skills of a hitman. I can kill you at any point. But if you want to get a job done, if you want to kill someone at one point for a bit of time, for some diamonds, here's my business card. Alright, got it. Awesome, see ya. I finally returned to my home, but not without a lingering sense of dread. Who hired Sloyme to trap me in the nether? Will Sloyme come back and finish the job? Who can I truly trust on this SMP? Not only are there dangerous entities on the redacted SMP, but it has become evident that the players are no different. I have many enemies on the server, both entity and player. And I need to choose who to trust on the server very, very carefully.